Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Welcome back and welcome to what's going to be a pretty hot work week forecast. So uh, here's the setup. We got two main features, ridge of high pressure here, and that's uh, really what's going to be dominating our weather through the next several days. Upper level low here and kind of what we're seeing on the back side of this feature are these little disturbances that are rolling in from the north to the south, and that's been producing shower and storm activity as we get across uh, portions of Arkansas. And in fact, we do have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect here for the northern part parts of the state, so they'll be on the lookout for that. And uh, this energy is going to try to drop southward, but more or less will kind of be on a weakening trend through the overnight period. Models have been doing a, a decent job uh, picking up on that. So here's uh, the uh, upper level pattern set up again through the week ahead. Here comes this ridge of high pressure, so that's going to pretty much put a lid on any sort of shower and storm activity here locally. So our rain chance is coming down, but also it's going to act to warm things up, so we are talking some hot afternoon high temperatures, lower and middle 90s, so make sure you're hydrating uh, if you got to be outside for an extended period of time. Temperatures this evening in the middle to upper 80s, and we'll be slow to cool through this evening. Uh, eventually, uh, we'll bottom out somewhere in the lower 70s by tomorrow morning. Generally fair skies out there if you do plan to look at that uh, total lunar eclipse. That's going to be uh, coming up a little bit later on this evening. We'll talk uh, more about that at the end of the weather cast. Uh, again, temperatures tonight bottoming out lower 70s, so that's where we start our Monday, and then we'll call it mostly sunny to partly cloudy into the afternoon. It'll be hot, low to mid 90s, record for tomorrow 95. I think we'll come about a degree or two shy of that, but nonetheless, going to be a hot one anyway you slice it. Maybe one or two isolated showers with the heating of the day late in the afternoon into the evening time frame. Graph model not showing a whole lot, but we'll still hold rain chances at around 15 to 20 percent. Now into Tuesday, upper 60s to lower 70s for that start, and it's going to be another hot one. We'll favor more of a mostly sunny sky as that ridge uh, nudges a little bit closer to the area, and uh, rain chances pretty much no better than around 5%. Heat indices out there tomorrow. Again, not quite uh, what we would expect for July or August standards, so that's the good news, but uh, nonetheless, it's still going to be very hot during maximum daytime heating hours late in the morning and then into the afternoon uh, in the middle 90s. So overnight tonight, again, we got that super blood flower moon or the total lunar eclipse a little bit later on this evening. It's going to peak at around 11 11 and then uh, we'll end or totality win at around uh, We'll say six minutes before midnight should have generally fair skies out there for that, so it should be a nice uh, visual for sure. 71 for that projected low, and as we kick off the new week tomorrow, it's going to be a hot one for sure. 93 for that projected high. We'll call it mostly sunny to partly cloudy into the afternoon. Uh, maybe an isolated stray afternoon thunder shower or two, but again, your rain chance is no better than around 20%. Westerly winds at around, we'll say, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Rain chance is pretty much zeroed out Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It's going to be feeling like summer for sure. Low to mid 90s for your highs. Overnight lows coming upwards as well, so not as comfortable for our mornings. Uh, low to mid 70s. May start to see some isolated to scattered rain chances returning by the end of the week and heading into the weekend and that would be uh, about it to give us any form of relief from that heat. But again, uh, just make sure you're hydrating. Make sure you have the sunblock out there for the week ahead uh, because we are going to be uh, feeling like a summer for sure here in Acadiana. Scott.